Hey guys, Daily Tech here, bringing you some troubleshooting tips to get your PS Move controllers connected to your PC to use with your VR setup using the PS Move service. Now this question has come up multiple times in the comments where people are having trouble getting the controller to connect to the PS Move service. And there are a few common things that could happen that would give you troubles, but they are easily resolved. Trying the steps in the video here will most likely get the issue resolved for you, but if it doesn't, at least it'll get you in the right direction. So let's get to it. Even get to the So first and foremost, make sure you uninstall any software that you may have installed for your Bluetooth adapter. All software for Bluetooth adapters are mostly bloatware and will provide you nothing more than what Windows already has built in. So you can uninstall all of those drivers and software from programs and features. The most common things to look for in there are Bluetooth, CSR, Broadcom, or the manufacturer name of the adapter, such as Asus. Now finally go into Device Manager while you have the Bluetooth adapter connected and right click on the Bluetooth adapter and select Uninstall. Once complete, simply unplug the adapter and plug it back in letting Windows take care of everything. Now I'm not going to do this myself right here since my setup is working fine, but once it's installed correctly with Windows native drivers, it should show up like this saying Generic Bluetooth Radio. Second thing you'll want to do is make sure your controllers are fully charged. While connected to the charger, you should see the light slowly blinking and it'll continue to do so until they're fully charged. Then the light will go out. Even a battery that is mostly dead, but still lighting the LED can cause issues. If those two steps don't work, you'll want to try to use a different USB port on your computer. First, unplug all unnecessary USB devices from your computer to make sure you're not loading up the USB root hub. Easiest way to make sure you're on different USB root hub is to switch the adapter from a USB 2.0 to a 3.0 port. As a troubleshooting step, you may also want to unplug all of your cameras to get the controllers connected. If unplugging the cameras solved it for you, then that means you need to shuffle some cameras around to spread the load a bit. Just plug one back in at a time and test after each one. But I'll cover more on that in a different video later on. Once you have the controllers all connected and fix the overloaded USB issue, make sure you test the orientation of the controllers in the configuration tool. You want to make sure that there's no lagging or any problems whatsoever when you move the controller around. If it is lagging too much, then that means you're still overloaded and should shuffle the ports around a little bit more. Ideally, if you can find a PCI or a PCI Express USB card laying around, it is highly recommended to put that into your machine and have it dedicated to run two cameras for you. Getting a USB 2.0 or a 3.0 card will make no difference at all since the cameras are USB 2.0 devices. Any card should really do the trick. Good rule of thumb, no more than two cameras on a USB root hub, and try to keep your Bluetooth adapter on a different root hub from those cameras. There is the odd occasion where a Bluetooth adapter may not be compatible with your PS Move controllers, so if all else fails, you may need to try a different one with a different chipset. The Asus USB BT400 is 100% confirmed to work, so if you're buying a new one, then that may be the one you want to buy. I personally have tested quite a few myself with different chipsets in them, but I have not found one yet that doesn't work. But that Asus adapter is one that I've just read online that everyone says works fine. So I guess this was a couple 60 second fixes in one, but troubleshooting controller connection issues really isn't as easy as we hope. Hopefully one of these steps did clear it up for you and you're already calibrating a controller right now. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and it helped you out, and I'll be sure to have plenty more like this coming out in the future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.